We have a lot of new information. Divers made it to the boat. They were actually able to knock on the hull. They did not hear a response. Those search efforts continue, but as Damon just alluded to, the conditions here are not good. It makes it very difficult for Coast Guard rescue crews and independent boat operators that are trying to help out to get to that scene and try to help with this rescue effort. Now, what's happening right now? We are at the Port Authority here in Port Fouchard. The relatives of these missing crew members are inside this building behind me. They are meeting with the NTSB and the Coast Guard. We do not know what they're discussing at this time or how much information these emergency officials are giving these family members. We hope that they will update us as soon as they come out, as soon as that is over with. But as you know by now, this boat capsized a couple of days ago. Six crew members were rescued. One was found dead. That is the captain of the boat. He was identified yesterday. He is a man from Lafouche Parish. The other 12 were considered missing. The hope is that they are in the hull right now, but once again, divers made it to the hull. They were able to knock on it. They did not hear a response, according to the Coast Guard. The conditions here, like I said, are not good. That has been a big deterrent for the Coast Guard from the air and from the water. They have been trying to surround this vessel so where they can get divers to it. But like I said, it has been a challenge and there is great interest here in Lafouche Parish and this Port Fouchon area, given how much offshore oil and gas work they actually do. We caught up with one of the port commissioners who has some serious expertise when it comes to lift boats like this, like the Seacore Power. Here's what he told us about this situation and trying to rescue these 12 crew members. Every tragedy, uh, there's some lessons that need to be learned and uh, the industry is gonna learn from them. And, uh, you know, nobody wants anything ever to happen. And we all strive to uh, maintain a safe work environment out there. That they do. And once again, the families and the loved ones of all of these crew members up here right now, they are still holding on to hope that their loved ones are alive on that boat as it's still in the Gulf of Mexico right now. We'll have another update coming up at 4 o'clock.